the government, the military, the labor laws, the economy, the infrastructure, the everyday life in China. I live in the most hated country in the world. These days, as people call me, the lychee from South Africa. Welcome to the video. Stay until the end today because I'm going to provide you with some proof about the things that we are going to talk about today. So, as you all know by now, that China opened a 144-hour transit visa for foreigners to be able to come to China without, like having to go through the trouble of a three months visa etc so that means that the last two or three months my youtube personally has been flooded by people from outside of china who came to visit china for the first time and the biggest thing about their videos and about how they feel was that they were so shocked about China, that China was nothing like they expected it to be. Like for example, just two nights ago, one of my friends, it's a new friend by the way, he, before he came to China, he thought China was a place where people lived in huts. Really, that is what he thought. And then he just decided to come to China and when he came here, he could not believe the infrastructure, the amazing, incredible skyscrapers and just the fact that no one lives in huts in China. So the main thing is a lot of people hate China but it's because they don't know anything about China. All they know are the things that they are reading and hearing on the news and then they believe it. I've lived here for more than five years now and I know that I am not the only one who thinks life in China is incredible. I mean, if you think a country is dangerous, right? Let's look at the daily life, the things you do every day. You wake up, like this morning, I woke up by the music of these Chinese mamas dancing, having the time of their lives. <laughs> I then took a nice shower, got on my e-bike. By the way, check all the e-bikes that people just leave there. You don't need to worry about where you're stopping an e-bike because it's so safe. No one is going to steal your e-bike. Like for example, in the Netherlands, yes, it's safe there because people can ride around on their bikes, but they still need locks to lock their bikes. Here in China, you don't even need that. Then I came to a coffee shop. I had an amazing coffee, just stopped my e-bike in a random place. There's a Bawan that like looks after the e-bikes. Not that it's even necessary for him to be there. And right now I am just walking around after I had this amazing kind of dinner. It's around 5 p.m. now. And I'm just walking around now, enjoying my time, making this video for you guys. Then I'm going for a massage. And yeah, that is daily life. I mean, for me, I can go jogging on a Sunday morning at five o'clock and I don't have to worry about anything. The weather is absolutely amazing in China. And that's also something that you read in the news. You read every city in China is just foggy and pollution and it's just bad. People can't breathe there. Uh, I don't know, have you seen the sky? It is beautiful. So yes, that is for me the important thing, is the safety. For me being able to later after I have an amazing massage, to be able to just walk around and enjoy the nightlife in China without having to worry about my phone, about who's going to grab me, about anything like that. Children just walking around or walking home from school. Parents don't have to worry about stuff like that. Oh, and let's talk about the people. Like you are going to see Chinese people every single day, right? So interacting with people also is why people think this is the most hated country in the world. Chinese people are the friendliest people. 
When I came to China, I didn't understand any Chinese. People are so helpful in trying to help you when you don't know what to order or you don't know what this type of food is. Oh, during the day you need your transportation. You have your e-bike that is so easy to get because you just stop it at the bottom of where you live, your community. You have share bikes. If you don't have an e-bike, you can take the subways. By the way, in China, the subways are clean, the subways are comfortable, the subways are reliable, they come and go during the times that they say they will be here. Then, if you want to maybe go visit other friends in other cities or go and explore, you have the amazing high-speed trains, which is the best thing in the world. And it is so affordable to do that here. If you don't want to go on the high-speed rail and you want to get there quicker then you have flights by the way again affordable cheap flights to do whatever you want so my point is people hate China because they don't know the truth about China they've also never been in China I mean it's not just me coming up and lying to you right look at all the people making youtube videos these days please if you're watching my video and you don't believe me just go search china so many videos will come out about people that have visited china in the past two three months and they are just talking highly about china the one thing we can talk about this car is so fancy one thing i can talk about though is not a lot of people like chinese foods which is again understandable not everyone is going to like the food in china but for those of you who haven't been to china and you are traveling here you need a translation app it's not like in the philippines or in thailand where a lot of people can't speak english because it's like a tourist country here not a lot of people can speak english all the time so firstly download a translation app it will help you immensely and again it's not a tourist area, so do some research about the food. Don't be like, oh, you know, I go with the wind today. I'm just going to walk around and then find some food and just try it. No, do some research about it because maybe this type of food in this shop you don't like that much. So, yeah, it is not like Thailand. You just go with the wind. If you want to make your trip unforgettable and really enjoy the food because the culture here is a lot about food, do some research about it. A big thing about China that I don't think a lot of people know is it is huge here. Every single province has their own signature dishes and foods, even some cities. They have like their special foods. So go Google about the city you're going to, what is the food people eat there, whether you will like it, whether you won't like it, and then go try it. Because besides the amazing infrastructure, the safety, just the great life you can have in China, food is a big part of that. So do your research on that and make sure that the food is not the one thing that makes you go tell other people, oh, I hate China because I ate something and then I sat on the toilet the whole day. Like for example, if you eat hot pot, you need to do some research about it. So yes, people that are traveling here just prove how misinformed the world is when it comes to China. And the fact is, people just hate the best. Like, I don't know if you guys like NFL, but like, there's this team called the Kansas City Chiefs and they just won like for the past two years and they are just the best. And at the beginning, everyone loved them, but now suddenly people hate them. Why? Because they are winning at everything. They just keep on winning. So that is why a lot of people also hate China. But yes, every country has its good and its bad. I know that, but China definitely has less bad and more good than most countries in the world. Like, yes, I said it, China is so safe. I don't feel like I have to protect myself all the time and be on the lookout. I can really just enjoy my life and it makes a big difference. And I wish that everyone can experience the feeling that China gifts to you okay everyone if you've stayed this long i appreciate you please remember to like and subscribe and now i'm going to show you some comments by the way these are comments not on my videos it is about an american guy who traveled to china on this 144 hour transit visa 
and his viewers in America had these things to say. By the way, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the comments.